Hi, B class. I'm so glad to be here with you. We're gonna talk about plants today, and we're gonna do that in two different videos. So this first video, we're going to read a story about a seed. This is called A Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. At the end of this video, I'll tell you the materials that you need for our next video. And we're gonna learn about seeds and what they need, and we're gonna do a fun activity. So let's read our story. It's autumn, and a strong wind is blowing, and it blows flower seeds all through the air and carries them across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others, and where are they all going? One of the seeds flies higher than all the others and up, up, up it goes. It flies too, ha too high and the sun's hot rays burns it up. The tiny seed sails on with the others down lower. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain and the ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the teeny seed doesn't go as fast as all the others. Now they fly over the ocean, and one of the seeds falls into the water, and it drowns. And the others sail on with the wind, but the teeny seed doesn't go quite as high as the others. One seed drifts down into the desert. It's hot and dry and the seed cannot grow. The tiny seed is still flying very low, but the wind pushes it across the desert. Finally, the wind stops blowing and the seeds gently fall down onto the ground. A bird comes and eats one of the seeds. The teeny seed isn't eaten. It's so small that the bird doesn't see it. Now it's winter. And after their long trips, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they're going to sleep inside the earth. Snow falls and covers them up like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse also lives underground and eats one of the seeds for lunch. But the teeny seed lies very still and the mouse doesn't see it. Now it's spring and after a few months, the snow is all melted. It's really spring and birds fly by. The sun is shining, rain falls, the seeds grow so round and so big that they start to burst open a little. Now they're not seeds anymore, they're plants. First, they send roots deep down into the earth and then their teeny stems and leaves begin to grow up towards the sun and the air. There's another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants and it's a big fat weed. It takes all of the sunlight and rain away from one of the small new plants and that little plant dies. The teeny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late, hurry! But it, it finally too begins to grow into a plant. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun and springtime, just like us, right? It's springtime now. One child doesn't see one of the plants as he's running along and oh no, he breaks one and it can't grow anymore. <laughs> the tiny plant that grew from the teeny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the teeny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. And look, 
a bud, and now even a flower. But what's happening? First there are footsteps, then a big shadow looms over, then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. It's summer. Now the teeny plant from the teeny seed is all alone. It grows on and on, it doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it and it has many leaves. It grows taller and taller. It's taller than the people. It's taller than the trees. It's taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It's the tallest flower they've ever seen. <coughs> it's a giant flower. All summer long, the birds and the bees and the butterflies come visiting. They've never seen such a big and beautiful flower. <coughs> now it's autumn again, and the days grow shorter, the nights grow colder, and the wind carries the yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop off the giant flower, <coughs> and they sail along with bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The, leaf, the flower has lost almost all of its petals. It sways and bends with the wind, but the wind grows stronger and it shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower and this time the flowers seed pod opens. Out came teeny seeds that quickly sail far away in the wind. And it starts all over again. What a wonderful book about seeds and how they become plants and flowers. For our next video, we're gonna do uh, an experiment and an activity. So this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a little greenhouse, which I sent to your parents. You're going to need a baggie that you can use, a Ziploc baggie. You're going to need four cotton balls. You're going to need green bean seeds. You're going to need a bowl of water, a stapler, and some tape to tape it up when we're done. So I'll see you guys when you have everything collected and we'll work on a new project. Bye bees.